So let's get started with the heart of the lecture. Let's start with what are pixels. Pixels are the building blocks that make up a digital image. That quote comes directly from your textbook if you've been reading the textbook. Um, in my terms, or the way that I would like to describe it, they're the little small squares that you see when you zoom in on an image. And so you can see them at the bottom of the screen here. Um, I have this image of ice cream. As I zoom in, it starts to get what we define as pixelated because we're starting to kind of see the pixels, but it still looks like little jimmies because I'm from New Jersey, or sprinkles if you're not from New Jersey, on the ice cream. But the further you zoom in on it, you can see that the entire image is made up of little squares. And Pixels don't have to be squares, they can be different shapes, but for our purpose in Art 1280, they are always squares. And so I like to say that they're the little squares that you see when you zoom in on an image. They contain one bit of data, meaning that they can display one color at a time. And a pixel is either red, or it's orange, or it's pink, or it's blue, or it's purple. But if you look closely at the image on the bottom of the screen, the, the squares that you're seeing, those pixels, they are not anything but a solid color. They can't be a gradient, they can't have texture to them, they can't have a pattern to them. And the way that they are used is that if you put a lot of pixels together and then you zoom out, it creates the illusion of gradients or patterns or textures, but the individual pixel can only be one color. Some things that you should know or terms that we'll use a lot are raster images, resolution, and resolution independent. When you say that an image is a raster-based image, you're basically saying that it has pixels. And so the images that you see on screen right now on the right-hand side in the bottom of your, your display, they are raster-based images because if you zoom in on them, they are made out of pixels. When images have pixels, they have resolution, meaning they have image quality that's related to the number of pixels that are in the image. But if an image does not have any pixels, it does not have a resolution. And there are images that you would create that do not have little squares. If you zoom in and you don't see those little pixels or those little squares, it means that that image doesn't have pixels and therefore it doesn't have a resolution. There are some other terms that you should know in regard to pixels. And they are pixel count pixel dimension, resolution, resampling, upscaling, upsampling, downsampling, etc. We'll cover these in more detail throughout this lecture and throughout the semester. But in a general terms, a pixel count is also known as a pixel dimension. You can use those terms interchangeably. And it is the height and width of an image. And you're basically saying how many pixels are inside the image. And so if you take the pixels across the width, and you multiply it times the pixels that are tall in the image, you can get the total number of pixels in the image, which is usually a lot of pixels. It's a really big number. Resolution is the amount of information in the fineness of detail in the image that it holds. Now, the definition of resolution is the number of pixels per square inch in an image, and it directly relates to the detail in the image. And in general, we say that the higher the resolution, the higher the image quality, and the lower the resolution, the lower the image quality. But that's a, it's flexible depending on what your output is. But in general, if the resolution is higher, the image quality is higher, and if the image uh, resolution is lower. When you're looking at resolution, or you're looking at the terms that are used to describe resolution, it can be described in what is called PPI, pixels per inch. So whenever you're looking at facts or data regarding an image and you see PPI next to a value, that is telling you what the resolution of the image is. And right now, it probably doesn't mean too much to us because we haven't learned a lot about resolution. But if you see PPI, whatever value is in front of that is the resolution of the image. There's another term called resampling. When you resample an image, you're either adding or deleting or removing pixels from the image's pixel count. And so the pixel count or dimension is a total number of pixels that you have in the image that you have to manipulate or to modify in whatever way that you deem appropriate. If you were to change the default or the set number of pixels that came with the image, you would be resampling it. And resampling isn't the best thing to do because in general you want to stick with the, the pixels that you have. Um, but if you were to resample and you were to add pixels, it's called upsampling or sometimes it's called upscaling. And if you were to take pixels away, it's called downsampling. And later in the slideshow, you'll learn that I, Jessica, um, feel pretty strongly that upsampling is not a great idea and you shouldn't do that unless you do it very purposefully. But if you had to upsample or downsample and you had the choice, you would always want to choose to downsample rather than upsample. Because downsampling, you're deleting pixels that you already have. 
But with upsampling, you're just making up new pixels, and you don't know if they're going to be the right pixels or not. And so if you had the choice, you would choose to downsample as opposed to upsample.